This is the last video from Turner's travels on this epic journey, Greece, Turkey, Albania, Italy. Obviously, I'm in Venice. I'm standing right where Roger Moore, James Bond, came through here on his inflated gondola, much to the astonishment of the local people. Venice has become super popular with tourists, even in the last days of October. It's thronged with people here because it's a unique, beautiful place in the world. There's cruise ships that come here, but fortunately they're made to anchor a long way away and they don't spoil the environment. I've just had a long boat ride along the 3.5 meter long canal, the Grand Canal, seeing all the palaces and the churches that would have appeared in James Bond films. Looking at the splendid architecture, I walked along the little alleyways and Venice is an outdoor museum. But the trouble is, some local people tell me it's expensive, there's not a lot of jobs here. I bought a boat pass for 30 euros for 48 hours, so it makes traveling very cheap. I don't have to hire an expensive gondola. This is a unique world site. And who would have thought that the Venetians, hundreds of years ago, would have built a city in a lagoon of exquisite, expensive marble buildings. A little bit of history here. The maritime environment would have caused the Venetians to become great sailors. Francis Drake met one of them, Felipe Corsini, over a dispute about his cargo being confiscated by the piratical activities of the Tudors in the 16th century. Also, Venice was a state in the 16th century because its ambassador stated where Drake landed his men when he captured a port in the Cape Verde Islands. But despite having the spirit to build on water where most people would have walked away to build in a safer place, the Venetians didn't think about global warming happening hundreds of years later. The city has survived 1,200 years of war, plague and invasion, but the greatest threat is rising sea levels. And in 1966 there was a tidal flood where 1,006, sorry, 16,000 properties were flooded. But the world managed to save Venice by pumping in a lot of state aid from around the world. So this lagoon city is under threat. And by the year 2100, the sea levels could rise between 14 and 80 centimeters. And that would mean a tidal inundation of flooding twice a day. And the current construction of barriers at the mouth of the lagoon, or the mouths of the lagoons, is going to be ineffectual. But to finish off with a light touch, if you want a job with a lot of street cred, a very well respected job because it's going to be very very rare you could try to be a car park attendant in Venice. Arrivederci, grazie mille signori.